subscribers and viewers I welcome you back to my channel so today's topic is going to cover my Grotec router board but to be specific we are going to talk about net install okay so net install is an application from Microtik and this application seeks to um, it's a platform where you can reinstall uh, the firmware of a Microtik router board yeah that's the main job it does and often um, depending on the kind of Microtik router board version that comes corresponds with um, the kind of net install, the version of net install you want to use to reinstall the firmware onto the router board. So, um, the main reason why I'm coming up with this topic is um, often folks and engineers find it troubling in trying to reinstall uh, a firmware on a microtip router using the net install, especially on um, our current Windows 10 then Windows 8 but this is the solution before you proceed with everything you need to make sure you've disabled all your firewalls okay so in this instance I'm using AVG so all you have to do is to come to your firewall and disable everything disable this I'm disabling it for just an hour okay Make sure you've disabled everything so that nothing becomes an obstacle for you. Okay, you are not done. The next thing is to disable the def uh, the Windows Defender Firewall, which is by default on the the Windows machine. So now I've disabled everything you are not done the next thing is to come to the application and then click on boot server enabled and change the IP here to suit the default IP of Microtik router board and this is the default IP of Microtik router board okay now the next thing is to set a static IP on your network A static IP on your network so let me get my network cable connect to the router board and then I'll proceed with the configurations so I've connected this So now I need to go to my network settings and then and then configure a static IP. Let me feel a little bit good, man. <laughs> configure a static IP to suit Microtix IP once again 168.88.1 good good okay so I'm done with this now there is one thing with Microtix router board unlike other router boards or devices where the device can be powered on at the same time you can press on the reset button with regards to microtik router board it needs the reset button needs to be pressed on first it needs to be pressed on before you even power the device on and because we are doing a net install in net install you often connect your cable to the first port which is port one Okay, but in other advanced versions of Microtik router board like the cloud, core, and the likes, there is a, I think it's often the last port, the last port of it. But with this lower versions, 
it often comes with the first first spot. That's where you you have to plug in your your network cable. So I'm plugging it in here, and then before I plug my power cable into the router board, I need to press and hold my reset button here. Okay, sometimes you need a pin to press the reset button, but they've made it easy this time around. Okay, so before I do that, let me quickly press and hold. You press and hold, you don't leave it, and then you insert the power button. And then you wait until the router board appears on the net install application. So we are waiting. It will appear here and then you select the particular firmware version that suits the router board else if you select a wrong one it's going to damage the router board so i'm going to wait okay good so it has appeared here now i can make my router rest okay so what you have to do is to select the router board and then browse and locate the firmware that suits it so this time around this is what suits this particular router board and so when you select it is going to appear here with all sort of features that comes with it so the next thing is to select all and then you install this time i need to be just patient wait a while and then watch it watch the firmware install on the router board and when it's done it means we were successful with our net installation okay using the net install to upgrade or reinstall our firmware has been achieved so let's wait taking a, a little bit of time but it will work <laughs> okay good okay now it's working so the firmware is actually installing the firmware is actually installing So at this moment it's going to reboot when the router is done rebooting we are done so currently we were successful with the configuration we, would, we just went through okay so basically we reinstalled a, a, a firmware on a corrupted router board okay thank you very much for watching this video if you really enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel like and share so that others can also watch my videos and then you can also have the opportunity to see more videos i'll be uploading thank you very much and i'm grateful